What's up guys, this is Lionel and today I'm going to react to a popular opinion that I don't necessarily agree with, but I, I keep seeing this title everywhere, so um, I figured I would share with you guys why I feel the way I feel about it live. Let's watch one, because I haven't watched this one yet. It's called The End of Self-Taught Programmer. Let's check it out. So I have some unfortunate news for everyone. Um, the days of learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and landing a 100K a year job within six months are sadly over. But to be honest, I'm not sure they ever existed in the first place. However, the point is, uh, landing a job as a self-taught programmer is becoming exceedingly more difficult than it has ever been in the past. The landscape of the tech industry has significantly changed ever since I got my first job uh, back in 2016. Matter of fact, when I got my first programming job back in 2016... Okay, I'm going to admit, he's been in the game a lot longer than I have. In 2016, I was still doing photography, but let's listen. I didn't have much experience, and I certainly didn't have like a killer portfolio to show anybody. Um, the extent of my experience included some classes that I had taken in high school and some really crappy Java applications that I had written. But somehow, someway, I still managed to land a part-time coding job with relatively no effort. Now, granted, I did land this job through a string of connections I made, which kind of just goes to show how powerful networking can be. But still, if I were Not trying to get a job in you guys this market with the amount of experience I had back in 2016, I would probably have a better chance at winning the lottery because the reality is the market is just terrible right now. I had someone recently reach out to me who had just finished their computer science degree. They had uh, done an internship at Meta, but they were significantly struggling to just get callbacks from recruiters. So if people with degrees and with experience working at big That's tech companies are struggling, you can only imagine how hard it is for those people who were told by influencers like me that it's possible to get a job in programming without a college degree. And to be clear, I'm not trying to scare you. If you are self-taught, you can still break into the industry, Those aren't the but it's only important jobs that we acknowledge that the industry is in a pretty rough spot right now. Layoffs are happening left and right, and a lot of developers are struggling to find jobs. That's and while I true. do believe that the market will get better, I'm not entirely convinced that it will ever return to its previous levels. Which is why I say you will have to work significantly harder than what you would have done in the past to compete with all the other competition out there. And when I say all the other competition, I don't have any statistics to back the idea that the market is oversaturated. But it does feel a bit oversaturated, okay? I mean, with all the coding boot camps churning out grads every 10 Not months in and all the influencers area. promoting learning how to code... And with all the hype around computer science over the past few years, it feels like the supply of developers ha has gone way up. Meaning that if you want to break into the industry, you will have to do things to really stand out from everyone else. So what do I mean by this? Well, simply put, you're going to have to have the type of experience that employers are looking for from the get-go. So I want to walk through an example with you. Let's take a look at the average entry-level developer job posting. So this is for a full-stack entry-level React developer position, and these qualifications are... I already know this is going to be crazy. Two years of React, experience, experience in JavaScript, prior knowledge of React, HTML, CSS. This is true. This is exactly true, and that's why we say before you start soon as so take a course right as soon as you get the basics of the course start working that will give you your experience of react development once you have a portfolio built you have to build your own project build your own apps build your own things let's take a look at in my portfolio real quick that landed me uh, my first position so and and this is from a long time of freelancing I use this and reach out to me um, the calendar link if you would like me to teach you 
personally how to do this. I can help you set up this exact same portfolio here, help you go from courses to actually coding. Okay, from courses to coding and building and getting experience so that you can apply for those job, jobs. So here, um, I started a community, the Digital Builder 757. This website here was built with Firebase and React. It has a live chat inside of it. Um, I, I did authentication here and everything. So this is a way of me proving to the people who interview me that I can do that work. This palette management system here, I created for a genitorial distribution company. Um, which was just solving a simple problem as far as like n we have a, sh a shelf up very high and this was a database for that so that we could type in what customers are in what shelf here versus having to drive up into the sky <laughs> and read it normally. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. I don't know why I chose it. Um, just another carpet. It was a WordPress that I built. Eileen Buer, another WordPress. So, you know, here's my website. This is built with React. So I could easily put this on my portfolio. You know, people say, how can I prove if I no one give me a chance? Give yourself a chance. Okay. Sorry to go off on a tangent. Where were we? generated from Google because they're stripped directly from the original job posting. Now, right off the bat, the first thing you may notice about this entry level posting is that they want two years of experience, which mind you is something that isn't an atypical ask for entry level positions nowadays. And with proper laying out of your resume, you can look like you have two years of experience, even if you spent those two years learning. This is something that we'll go over in a minute. Facts. Other than that, you will see that you need experience with JavaScript, React, Redux, HTML, CSS, REST APIs, authentication mechanisms, knowing how to optimize React projects, continuous integration technologies, and Agile and Scrum knowledge. And then the very last don't point here, a computer you. science degree. Now, I don't want this to scare you too much because if you display a high level of competency in the above points, this can be overlooked in some instances. But the reality is that if you're competing with somebody who is equally as good as you and they have a computer science degree, they're going to get the job, which is why I said in the beginning of this video, you're going to have to do things that really stand out from all the other competition so if you really this want to stand out you can look at this job posting or other job postings like this one as sort of the recipe for you getting into the industry now you will likely never work for this company but the idea is that we can find job postings for jobs that we're interested in and use them as a template for the type of project we can build that will help us get another job later down the road. So you can that take part. this tech stack and the processes laid out in this mm -hmm. posting and use this tech stack and the processes to create full stack real world use case applications. Mm -hmm. Okay, to really stand out as a self-taught developer today, it is pivotal that you display a high level of competency in the way that real companies develop real software so that when you start interviewing for a company you will look like the type of candidate that will hit the ground running and how do you gain experience into building real world software as a self-taught developer with no job experience well you do that by building real world full stack applications. Yeah. Most product or service driven free. companies prioritize the development and maintenance of full stack CRUD applications, which is why it is an extremely safe bet to build these types of projects. By building these types of projects from the ground up, you will gain a large depth of programming experience, which you can use to create a beefed up resume. So let's run through an example. Let's say this is the type of job I'm going for, the one that lists out all of these qualifications. The very first step is to come up with a project idea. And because this is for the sake of learning, this project idea absolutely does not have to be unique. Okay, so pick a hobby like reading. You can build a very robust CRUD app around the idea of book reviewing. I'm going to pause this here and say he's spitting facts, but also this is where your freelancing can type in, tap in. 
before you build it for yourself talk to your barber talk to the guy who cuts your hair and say bro do you have a website talk to anyone you know who's a photographer when you're at your favorite smoothie shop mom and pop shots ask them to see their website most of the time they have wix they have wordpress they have old websites ask if you can update them give them you may even be able to get you know 25 an hour 30 an hour 40 an hour 50 an hour you set the price okay as low as high or for free if they want to see what you have done so far and you have nothing then do it for free or for the low and then after that after you get your first couple down then you will have more okay and then more opportunity now you will either before you know it you may have your own agency okay but before you know it you may oh hey by the way bam is hiring a software engineer meet this person here that's where it starts to happen the magic starts to happen okay not from doing a course and then going to indeed and applying there book rating sharing books with friends so on and so forth matter of fact this idea already exists it's a platform known as goodreads you can take goodreads build it from the ground up with a slightly uh, tweaked feature set and then rebrand it as your own so for this example let's say we have our project idea building a goodreads type of application let's go through how we can gain experience in the other qualifications listed out in this posting so first off we'll build our front end using react TypeScript and the Redux library. So we can check off these bullet points here. And by using React, we'll naturally gain experience into HTML with JSX, which is similar enough. And then we'll also gain experience into CSS. We can gain JavaScript experience by deploying right, right, an right. API of some sorts using an AWS service, let's say, CSS such as own. AWS you know Lambda. And because we'll need some sort of database flow, for our API to fetch there and save data records. We'll create a database, maybe something like MongoDB, and again, do. host it with Amazon. We can implement some login routine, page in the app that create. uses the type of JSON authentication that this job posting mentions. And as for Agile and Scrum, we can spend a few hours doing some research into how companies follow Scrum practices, and then follow those practices while creating our portfolio project. Matter of fact, learning these agile and scrum practices should be done before you dive into the creation of your portfolio project, as they are essentially project management techniques that can significantly help you with the overall development of your project, while at the same time giving you real world experience into how companies use agile to develop their software. And finally, we can use something like GitHub Actions to automatically deploy our release builds, giving us some high-level exposure to how CI, CD works. Right, so in right. theory, that we could key. build and deploy this application my, using uh, the practices I've I just mentioned and extend cool. that over a 6 to 12 to month time frame own, of coding, so deploying, coding, GitHub, deploying. Uh, and if you and worked on a full stack application of this sort, following this plan I've just laid out for again, six to 12 months by adding new features, refining existing features, fixing bugs, and actually deploying it to the public, not only would you gain the type of experience that real companies value, you would have killer points to mention on your resume. You would have projects that not even the average computer science student has on their resume. Because the thing is, most people list very basic projects on their resume that they developed within one to two weeks. So as for the resume, here's how you could create an entry-level developer resume with the project idea that I've just gone over. Now, this is a that fake resume, terrible. it's not real, and it should just serve as an example or as a model for the type of like resume, resume that here. you could create. So if you're interested in downloading this resume. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of it. So um, yeah, that, that was basically the video. And um, again, this is a series that I'm gonna start doing where I react to the news that people are saying that I am helping them get over the hump of them believing that they cannot um, do it, that this is a bad time. Come on, don't believe that. Don't believe the uh, propaganda, okay? That's a click.
clickbaity kind of thing where you know it's drawing the emotion and also but I'm, I'm trying to save people from quitting okay there's no need to quit the self-taught path if anything you need to go there's at least from what I'm seeing there's a lot of room out here for you to get gigs you just have to get out there you just have to get busy start building start freelancing take it from there trust me okay we're helping 100 people this year 2024 all right peace